Hello everyone, I am Jojen Hummingbird. I am with the Footsteps to Peace. I am an intuitive channel, astrologer, Reiki master, and a spiritual life coach. If anything I say here today resonates with you and you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can head over to my website, jojendivinity.com. That is J-O-G-E-N-D-I-V-I-N-I-T-Y.com and click on the offerings tab so you can take a look at everything that I have to offer for you guys. So I wanted to go ahead and pop on here and do a reading for my fixed sign. So this is if you have your sign in the signs of Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and what's the other one? Scorpio, right, sorry. My brain is not running too great today, y'all, so forgive me for my words not coming out the greatest, but when I channel the messages, that's all that really fucking matters. So this is for you fixed signs, and we already have cards falling out of the deck for y'all, so that's, whoa, wow, okay. So, we have new moon in Capricorn, step up and lead. And then we also have full moon in Pisces, forgive. This full moon in Pisces card came up for my cardinal signs. If you checked out that video, if you're a cross watcher, if not, if you have like a moon rising, Mercury, Venus, or anything like that, that you would like to go check out in the cardinal signs, definitely take a look at that. I'll go ahead and link that in a card somewhere over here. And I'll also put it in a description box down below. So this new moon in Capricorn step up and lead and Pisces forgive. So this feels like we, this is funny because we're coming up on the new moon in Capricorn here on December 23rd coming up soon. If you didn't watch that video, I will also link that somewhere on the screen and also in the description box if you haven't checked that out already. But we were talking about in that video how we're stepping into the true nature of ourselves. We're getting an integrity with who we are, what our mission is in this life, on this planet, in this lifetime, in this paradigm, in this round of consciousness that we've all decided to come back for. So with this forgiveness card too coming up, this is a lot of like, hey, it's okay that you didn't do what you thought you were going to do. Now it's time for you to take action on what you know you want to do, on what you were meant to do, on what you feel guided to do. So Capricorn as an energy, it is ruled by the planet Saturn. So we take a look at Saturn and it is karma, it is time, it's restriction, it's tension, it's the old man, it's this father archetype. It's also the patriarchy in the shadow frequency or the shadow of the patriarchy in the shadow frequency. True patriarchy is in the divine masculine, true matriarchy is in the divine feminine, shadow matriarchy is in the shadow feminine, and shadow patriarchy is in the shadow masculine, which is what we are currently experiencing in society, is the shadow masculine, is the shadow patriarchy. So we take a look at Saturn as it is right now, and Saturn is moving through Aquarius right now. It's going through my first house of identity. So everything in my life, I'm learning so much about myself right now, and I'm healing so much and all this stuff. So depending on where Saturn is in your chart, take a look at where it is, and that house will tell you a lot about what's going on for you currently right now, because Saturn is one of those slow-moving planets. It's what we call one of the generational planets out there. So it is all about like what you're here to learn in this lifetime to help this generation transcend whatever paradigm we have incarnated into. And so Capricorn energy, really what it is, it's the half goat, half fish, the mer goat. So the story in ancient myth in mythology is talking about how Pan, he would, I forget exactly what he did wrong, but he did something. And so they cast him into the ocean and Poseidon turned him into half fish. And so this gives Capricorn, the ability to navigate emotions very easily because we are one of the only two mythical creatures in the entire zodiac, ourselves and Sagittarius included. They are the centaur and we are the mergoat. And everything else is either an animal or one inanimate object or a person or who knows. So this energy is very mystical. It's very spiritual in the sense that we have to really tune in to our emotional self, to our spiritual self, to really understand how to lead ourselves into a better future. Because if we don't understand what we're up against in our own psyche, if we don't have a roadmap to navigate that shit, you don't know how to go through it and you're going to get fucking lost. Like it's very easy to really get caught up in the density of our emotions with the Pisces energy and with the half water energy of the Capricorn going on with the Mergo, we are very, very well aware of what emotions are. We are very well aware of their density and their effect on everybody, especially being ruled by Saturn. Emotions are very restrictive for Capricorn energies. So this is a really good time to understand where you're getting caught up in your own density and how you can forgive yourself. 
to allow love into the space to transcend that density and move into a higher version of yourself. So I want to go ahead and pull a couple more cards here from the Moonology. Okay, we have first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. So this is very interesting. So first quarter moon energy is really talking about like watching the seeds that we planted in the new moon grow and like sprout and be watching life begin. It's very spring-like energy. It's very, um, think of like the, the spring equinox, think of flowers blooming, think of hope, think of like light coming out and like the dawn and like the frost is going away. We're we're in the buttfuck middle of winter right now. We're, like today, the day that I am recording this is December 21st. So today is technically Yule. Today is the winter solstice. It is the longest night of the year. It is the shortest day of the year. And from this point on, the light is returning. The sun is coming back to bring longer days back, to bring more light more life force. Light is what grows plants from the earth. So this big like energy of needing to pay attention to our light is really understanding like not luck. I don't like the word luck on this. I would rather say believe in your light on here because Sagittarius to me isn't just about luck. Uh, Sagittarius to me and my experiences like thinks that they can get away with everything because they're lucky but really it's just because anything that they do that they can get away with is in alignment with their highest form of light that they are meant to express in that moment whether or not it's in resonance with them like five minutes down the road or five years down the road doesn't matter because in that moment it was a part of their highest expansion of light and so this is really understanding that we don't have to, this is also the other mythical creature in the Zodiac. So this is talking about, we need to under, we need to trust our light. We need to trust our spirituality. We need to trust our higher guidance. We need to trust our higher insight and understand that it is what's going to lead us into this new paradigm. It is what's going to lead us into this new version of ourselves. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards here as well to get a little bit more specific insight for some of you. So the tower card comes up. So some of you might, okay, and then eight of cups right at the bottom of the deck too. This is very interesting. So some of you, something might've gone to shit. <laughs> something might've gone to shit either with yourselves or with somebody or a job or family or whoever, whatever, fill in the blank with whatever is resonant for your case. We are, us fixed signs in here, we are, stepping away from the things that have not served us, that have literally put us in harm's way, that have caused great catastrophe in our lives. And we're stepping back. We're stepping away from those things that do not serve us. Right at the bottom, Ace of Wands or Ace of Swords, taking really clear mental action, understanding thought rather than all of the crazy expression. The Ace of Swords, in my experience, whenever this comes up for people who are changing something really rapidly in their life or they're walking away or they're making a new choice, this is don't talk, do it. This is very much the I'm not going to say shit. I'm just going to go for it. And this is what's going to happen. This is what I feel guided to do because Ace of Swords, Swords represents the air element and air is all about the mind, intuition, higher guidance, the connection between the cosmos and the earth. It's like the mix of literally the air that we breathe in and also our view of the sky, the heavens above. So this is talking about trusting that higher insight, trusting that guidance, trusting your intuition, trusting what you are being led to, what you are being handed, and also understanding that this version of ourselves, this higher spiritual version, right underneath the star, you can't make this shit up. This is ruled by Aquarius. Like this is talking about higher spirituality, bigger expansion, like the age of Aquarius is what we're coming into. So this feels like my fixed signs here. You guys are spiritually advancing. You are spiritually growing and you it may be causing a lot of like chaos and turmoil in your old version of life. I know my fixed signs, they do not like change. Once they find something, they stick to their ways and then they don't do anything fucking else. Um, especially my Taurus is out there, my Tauren friends, my Venusian masculine Tauren friends, I love you, but you stick in your ways very much. So no shade, all pink lemonade, love and light. But this spirituality, this higher version of yourself that you have been go had going on in the back of your mind that people have been telling you you're crazy for, that you've been ignoring your entire life, that now you literally can't fucking ignore because spirit is ripping shit away from you 
and making you walk away so that way you can become this version of yourself, the higher version of yourself, the more expressed version of yourself. And then we have seven of pentacles right here. You need to do the work though. You need to understand yourself. You need to forgive yourself. You need to understand who your spirit is, what your spirit is, why your spirit is, okay? So let's go ahead and get one more card so I can end this on a more positive note without screaming at you guys. So we have the Magician and the Knight of Pentacles. So this also feels like you are creating more financial abundance for yourself that is going to be moving fast. Uh, Ma Magician talks about all the creation. It represents the alchemist. It represents, uh, this is also Scorpio energy, even though this isn't like necessarily Scorpio in the Tarot cards. This is the Magician, the Alchemist. Scorpio is the sign of the Alchemist. And so every time I see the Magician, I think of Scorpio energy. And Scorpio, you are a fixed sign. So this is this feels like some of us are understanding how to harness. Once we get through the work of stepping into that version of ourselves, we become the creators of our realities. We already are the creators of our realities, but you're living in a society that projects a bunch of distractions and illusions and fears and fills you with a bunch of microplastics and shoves you with a bunch of medications that are filled with heavy metal toxins and cancer cells and all these things. So that way you don't understand how to get here. But you're stepping here, whether you like it or not. It's just how spirit is guiding you to get there. And this is going to be financially expansive for you. And I don't think you guys see this coming. This is very fast moving energy. Knights really move fast. And so I don't think you guys are going to see this coming. But I think as a result of your spiritual expansion, you are going to come into a bigger version of financial abundance for yourself than you ever thought possible. And I know my Taurans out there are going to love that because y'all fucking love money. So, okay, so that is all that I'm getting for my fixed signs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you resonated with anything said here today, then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Footsteps of Peace. Click that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video for you guys. And then again, if you resonated with anything said here today and you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can head over to my website. It will be linked down below in the description box as well as all my socials. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much again for watching and many blessings.